for him, uh, whether it's going to be the Fisher, which is a great one, but obviously the uh, the chains as well is actually a really good combination that IG have perfected time and time again. Uh, for right, we'll run forward. There it is. Smoke is going to be a real hit. Okay, and that's going to be your first blood as IG find that initiation into the enemy jungle and able to lock it down. So good start for them. IG. And here he feels the smoke. So yeah, that's smoke a has been revealed. Ake, well, he's in serious trouble. He wraps around the corner. Silence goes out. And that's going to buy Ake a lot of time as his heal's already coming out. Faith getting low. Last hit. EGM couldn't quite claim it. Already Ake has fallen. And Faith managed to get himself away with a brilliant arrow from Chuan. Now YYF has entered into the mix. He wants that squishy support hero. Brewmaster popping his ultimate. Don't think YYF. Oh, he's going to go for it. He goes for the dive, but the Cyclone will put a stop to that one. And Ferrari, he's going to back himself away, but YYF, uh, he's too tanky for them to go for him. Instead, Ferrari's being gone on, but I just don't see them having enough damage. Now, S4 comes back. He was already low enough. Now, Ferrari's going to go down. S4 gets hit by the Sun Strike, and there goes that Ember Spirit, juping it away at the last second. YYF slowed up by the CK Napalms, but he's already turned his back two levels of his passive, and that may be enough to get him out. Lotus trying to get those last hits, but it's nowhere close enough, or is it? YYF, no, he's got enough mana. Tier 1 tower almost going down at the same time. Ferrari's coming in from behind. S4, he's going to be revealed here. Throws out the Star Storm. Now the Disable goes out the follow-up arrow. S4 does not have his ultimate in time, and he will fall up against the three heroes. In the meantime, we also had Invoker being able to snag the Bane. He will get killed in the process as Admiral Bulldog makes a good rotation over, but they got the two. IG have enough to be able to push in once again. Maybe not commit to a Rax, but definitely lay down a lot of damage onto a Tier 3. So that was the first mistake IG actually did, but it didn't matter at all. They popped the BKB before the Global Silence, so they were actually silenced. But it's like, despite that, they still crushed the Lions. Faith jumping in deep, will be able to get off the Echo Slam onto Loda. Slept up as well, he should go down at the same time. YYF is moving in fast into the enemy team. Alliance are trying to play defense here, hiding up against the Tier 4's beautiful Sun Strike. He's going to be able to finish off another Loda, immediately buying back. This is their opportunity. IG have dove in deep. Can they possibly win one single team fight here? The teleport's going to come in. Bane, he needs a priority kill. But the Orca turn around, the arrow comes out, and EGM's already dead. S4 claims Marana. IG, they keep on moving forward. Loda, he's trying to back himself away from YYF. He's not going to go in for that dive. Instead, they content themselves with an S4 kill. And Alliance have already lost so many members, I don't think they can get anything else. Great play there from Luo. Actually used the Ghost Walk there to try and slow everybody up. Ferrari will go down. But Luo will slow them up enough. Well, he's just thrown down a counter ward. Now he's going to turn fight up Loda, but... And they're going to be happy with that Aegis because, trouble. again, well, yeah, Ake, okay. Sunstrike's going to come out. That damage by itself almost finishes off Ake. Okay. And Fate yep. just needs to get close enough for an Echo Slam to ensure that kill. Alliance now on the retreat. IG. Once again, grouping up, it looks like they're just going to five-man down middle with this Aegis advantage. Why not? They certainly have enough damage if they can kill onto this BD on Ferrari. Well, they certainly got a Tier 2, maybe even more. Admiral Bulldog, he will be able to initiate onto a Ferrari, but the two heroes in the back. Loda's going to go down. He doesn't even get off the Global Silence. He falls before that goes off. Brewmaster he was able to get off his ultimate, but there's no damage coming out. Admiral Bulldog, he's trying to abuse the cliffs as much as possible, but not even that is indeed IG. Grab four there. Alliance can't even defend. Tier two is going to fall. Tier three probably going to go down as well. They do have four managed. Oh, their Fiend's Grip is going to go off from EGM. He sees the opportunity where Ferrari was pretty far out there, but a quick Fisher is going to be able to stop that one. And Ferrari can conceivably get some revenge. EGM sleeps himself up to dodge any attempts at a Sun Strike. IG will just claim the mid set of racks and back themselves away. Ferrari will join the team to make sure that Alliance don't move out and try and catch anybody, but. IG always moving as a strong five-man unit. Initiation's going to come out from the Brewmaster. He does get off his ultimate. Chuan is getting low here on the side as he does burn out from the Batrider. But what else can they really get here? They know BKBs are down. This could be a decent fight for them, but it's going to be a tough one. Luo fighting, trying to kill the last of the Brewlings. Admiral Bulldog gets low. As Ferrari, nice. so much damage. Good deny there from EGM. But really, when you're going to be losing the game here in a second, there's not much you can do. EGM falls. Sunstrike lands on both there. And that's the only reason Ake managed to live. Luo fighting up against both these heroes inside of the fountain. Finally, he will go down GG. but that's going to be the Aegis and GG is the call from Alliance as IG will move on to the finals for the ESL1 Frankfurt LAN event. Excellent play. I can't say enough about IG. They are looking in top form right now going into this finals as well as potentially into TI4 as well.
With the, it's funny because I like the the best execution so far was Mouseport versus IG especially, and that's the second best in my opinion. That was perfection from IG. I don't think Alliance uh, was even close to the level of IG 